been in my story and it be shit like that. Uh, All that tough talk, what? You ain't built like that. What? You ain't hop in the shit, man. Bring that shit, man. Back. Uh, you ain't been in the. Go ahead, answer this question, cause I know niggas like Vine. Why would you sleep in your car? You got a whole YouTube and you would post and get hella bands. This is what I was talking about in the beginning when I said sometimes you got to go left. So when it's time to go right, you can stay right. You feel what I mean? Me personally, this is what I was talking about in the beginning. I didn't want to take the easy way out. You feel what I mean? Once I finished the mixtape prospect, I got back in uh, North Carolina or whatever. And then it was like, dang, I don't want to post on YouTube again because I want motherfuckers to take the music serious. If I just come back on YouTube like nothing happened, motherfuckers are just going to ignore the fact that I just did all this shit for music and all this shit and I just lost all my money. How would you have lost any money if you could have posted on YouTube and made hella bands? That's what I'm confused about. Like, where is the loss if you're gaining money back? <laughs> So now motherfuckers ain't gonna take my music serious. So I'm like, hell nah, I'm gonna keep this shit going. Plus at the same time, I was following my intuition. I'm so fucking glad that I ain't take the easy way out and I just posted on fucking YouTube, got hella money. I'm so glad. That's like saying, that's like giving uh, somebody a contract to uh, to be a rapper, right? And they be like, you know what? I don't want to do it. This. I don't want to. I don't want to take that. That's the easy way. I'ma just uh, I'ma just do uh my own thing over here. You know what I'm saying? Even though I'm, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just gonna do that. Like, that's like saying if I could get privilege, or or if you could get, or if dude down the block. I'm not gonna say me. I'm gonna say for I'm gonna say all these people right here to get privilege, right? You be like person president come in the room like, hey, oh y'all want privilege? Everybody gonna be like, I want privilege. I need my privilege. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody finna be like, man, don't give me nothing. I'm just gonna sit in the back and I'ma just uh just thug it out. You know, like, I know you got $100,000 for me, but I'm just going to thug it out. Like, bro, who you think you fooling, bro? Like, come on, man. If, who was buying this? Who put this? Who mans is this? Like, like, I agree with a lot, but, like, come on, man. No. 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 As soon as I see something like weird, I'm like, what are you talking about? What is, what are you talking about? Come on, man. You don't want your money is what you were saying? Like that, like, I don't know who thinks like that, but I understand things got to go this way to get that way. I understand that concept, but. That's like, hey, come on, man. That's like saying, um, opportunity knock. You, you, I don't want it. Come on, man. That's what that that's what that was. That's what makes this story seem kind of flawed. Like, what are you talking about, man? Nobody in because if I would have did that. I wouldn't even be in the crib that I'm in right now because I already, you feel me? I ain't even gonna explain that. I wouldn't have been in the crib that I'm in right now. It's just a lot of shit that wouldn't have worked out. It's pretty much everything had to crash and go down so it could go back up for me. You feel me? So I was really just felt following my intuition. Everything was telling me, don't post on YouTube. Niggas was in my phone, niggas was sending me emails, niggas was calling me, telling me, yo, Vaughn, you need to post on YouTube, you need to post on, you need to do this. I listen to myself before any other nigga. That's another point, too. Always follow your intuition. I don't care what no nigga around you is telling you. Once again, this is your perspective. If another nigga from his perspective is telling you to do something, what is your perspective telling you to do? What is your consciousness telling you to do? My conscience will tell me, nigga, don't post on YouTube. You don't need to be on that shit. That's not what you want to do no more. Don't force yourself to do that. So I find it funny. <laughs> I find it funny how the man said, you said, he said, 
whatever. I find it funny how the man was like, oh, yeah, I'm not going to be posting on YouTube. Then you pop out and say, oh, yeah, I'm going to be posting vlogs. But you just said this is not what you want to do no more. But later on in the video, you said you're going to be posting vlogs. I just, it's just confusing, bro. Like, <laughs> Don't do that shit, nigga. And I'm so glad I ain't take the easy way out. I'm so glad I put myself under restriction. I'm so glad I slept in my car. I thugged that shit out and I got my shit back up, nigga. I'm so glad because it's like, and then it's at the same time, it's like, I learned so much just literally being out here in the street. Uh so now you with the, here we go again. Another do another conscious person, quote unquote, converting to being a thug. Like, bro, what's going on, bro? Out here in the street, uh. It's literally being out here in the street. Uh. Like, come on, man. Why are you, like, like I don't believe you a, you a thug or never was a thug in the first place anyways. But what I am saying is, you know, why is this being promoted bro like what conscious community ever do to you you know what i'm saying like what happened <laughs> what happened dog being out here or whatever you feel me doing what i do or whatever it's like i learned so much that I, I pretty much i learned so much i wouldn't have learned none of this shit that i'm about to tell y'all if i would have posted on youtube that's pretty much what i'm saying like this video wouldn't even happen if i would have posted on youtube in august so you're saying if you would have got some money, you would have never posted on YouTube. If you got some money, you would have never gotten your own house. That never, that thought, get my own crib, never would have passed your mind. You never would have said to yourself, hmm, maybe I should get my own house. That's what you're saying. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Was nobody born yesterday? April Fools, what's going on, brother? Like, <laughs> come on, man. Come on. Really?